Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Electronics Plus. Today I will show you how you can generate analog signal using NI USB 6008 data equation card and lab view. Let's start it. If you don't know about NI USB 6008 data card and its interfacing with lab view, please go through my previous video. The link is given in the description below. We can demonstrate the analog output or analog signal generation by controlling the brightness level of an LED connected to any AO port of the data action card from the LabVIEW software. Here the analog signal will be DC voltage. For that we need these components an red LED, a 330 ohms register, a breadboard and some jumper cables. Let's make the connection as per the circuit diagram. The anode of the LED will be connected directly to any AO port of the data action card, let it be AO0 and cathode is connected to the ground via a 330 ohms register. Through lab view, we can generate DC voltage that varies from 0 to 5 volt by a front panel law and send it through port AO0 which in turn controls the brightness level of the LED. Let's make the physical connection. The red wire is connected to the anode of the LED at one side and to the AO0 port of the data action card at the other side. The yellow wire is connected to the register at one side and ground terminal of the data action card at the other side. And one end of the register is connected to the cathode of the LED and makes the circuit close. The changing voltage level can vary the brightness level of LED. That's all for the hardware section. Now snap over to the computer for the lab view section. In the computer open the lab view software and create new file. Here we are going to use Express BI for the data equation purpose. So let's right click on the block diagram and take the DACA system's express VI. Now a new window called create task window appears. In the configuration panel expand this generate signal then analog signal output and click on voltage. Now select the physical channel of the data action card. Before that, connect the USB cable of the data action card to the PC and make sure NI USB 6008 has been detected. Now select the channel that is AO0 and click on finish. Now a new window appears. In the voltage output setup setting, keep the signal output rings between 0 and 5 volt and terminal configuration at RSE. In the timing setting, select one sample on demand. We can select continuous samples or n samples with specific number of samples write and sampling frequency for different application. But to glow an LED, one sample on demand is fine. Click on OK and let the Express VI to be built.
then put the DAC assistant express bi inside a while loop to generate data continuously in order to stop the bi connect a stop button at the conditional terminal the corresponding stop button is being created in the front panel as well let's resize it and drag it to the center now right click over the front panel under numeric control click on now now resize the lock control the default level is from 0 to 10 volt make it to 0 to 5 volt you can enable the digital display by right clicking over the knob control and under the visible items enable the digital display as soon as the knob control is created in the font panel the corresponding function has been created on the block diagram connect the output of the knob to the data input of the data system now in order to control the execution of the while loop we have to add the timing control so take wait millisecond function and create a constant and give a 100 millisecond time delay for each iteration of the while loop that's it now run the lab view and see what happens you click on run button and the voltage level is initially in zero let's rotate the knob as you can see when the voltage level exceeds from 1.8 volt the led starts glowing and the brightness level of the led go on increasing as the knob rotates towards high foot level and the LED reaches to its maximum brightness level when if the knob is at 5 volt and if we rotate the knob anti-clockwise the brightness of the LED starts decreasing that's all we successfully generated analog voltage using NIUSB 6008 data question card with LabVIEW software and control the brightness level of an LED. That's it for today. If you've done something, please like my video and subscribe to my channel. And never forget to write the feedback about this video. Thank you for watching.